Welcome one, welcome all to the Bros Magodes Championship Series. The 19th tournament slash community day event. And today we have a $150 hardcore duos tournament coming for you guys today. The rules are spicier. Our player list is spicier. And we are going to see what sort of Super Animal Royale action we can find today. Welcome everyone. We are here in the lobby. $150 duos, hardcore. Quickly, let's break down what that means for today's rule set. What hardcore duos means is it is a duos tournament. You have a teammate, but it is all played in solos. That means that we are going to have team damage on, no radar, which makes this even spicier. Now, a big rule change. This is what makes it so in so different than normal tournaments is placement does not matter at all. This tournament is all about kills. We will be celebrating the players that absolutely slay out. We don't care about the players that hide with one kill and win the game. We are celebrating the players that get their weapons, drop and fight. And that is what is gonna to happen today. We will have small breaks after each game. After every two games, we will have a $10 giveaway for the chat for a total of $50. And we will see what happens. Once again, welcome to the Birds with Goats Championship Series, Hardcore Dumits. Let's get started. Game number one starts now. We're gonna be following Rookie and Draven, who are probably the two highest rated players in this game, probably are slated to probably finish in the top three somewhere. Rookie, as you know, has one of the highest monies paid, one of the highest standing players in all of Super Animal Royale competitively. But let's go ahead and bounce down here to the bottom left side as we see a ton of players coming in and around the beaver construction. No, let's actually head back to Rookie because it seems like we have a fight on screen. Ice Light is gonna take a hunting rifle shot at Draven. It does land, he's gonna have to hit the armor swap. Heading over to the pyramid, we see Cookie Lord and Mega who are about to come face to face with Vani and Suhei. One bow shot lands, two bow shots lands. Suhei is on the chase for Mega and they will take them down. Cookie Lord face to face with Vani and Vani melees Cookie Lord and Suhei and Vani absolutely slaying out right off the beginning of the game exactly what we expected from them. Let's head back down to the Super Animal Super Stage because we heard that were, there were some gamers landing in and around each other down here. Next story, coming face to face with 2000 Toyota Ultra Model and AM. But it looks like they're going to slowly back away as we see Mkel actually takes out Encrypt on the map as well. Got gamers. Once again, I want you guys to remember, placement does not matter in this tournament. There is only one value of placement. If you place well, if you get only the first place, you will get your choice of two purple weapons at the start of the next game. Right when you land, you will have two purple weapons dropped for you, whatever you want, which obviously is a huge advantage to help you continue to slay out quickly that next game. But other than that, these players are gonna wanna be hot dropping, picking up their favorite aggressive weapons and taking people out. Vani and Suhei already going absolutely hog wild on this lobby with multiple kills. You might even say they could be on a Monster kill. kill. But we will have to see if they get shut down here in the near future. For now, we see Rookie and Draven rotating around two teams, Kanik and Trihawks walking around in front of them. Rookie 
proc the campfire no need to heal though two armor and three armor and they're going to keep rotating around now rookie is used to playing safe getting that high placement and collecting end game kills but we're gonna have to see what sort of changes they make their game to their game to be able to slay out and get even more kills than they do normally Harna and Emkel, two legends in the competitive scene here on the south side, coming face to face with Shumi with the dart gun, Shave Throne and Zai, his handler. And right now, they might be coming face to face here. Harna with a bow. Zai does have the Thomas gun. Anything can turn up pretty quick, real quick, when you're holding two mouse one weapons. Rookie with the deagle, taking good shots, does take down Hamter. Actually, Draven is going to take the kill there. Rookie, one HP, almost perished. Remember, guys, because this is hardcore duos, there is no revives and no team healing with dart guns. So you are going to have to completely rely on yourself for heals. There's no heal off final circles with dart guns at all. You will hurt your teammate if you shoot them with the dart gun. Karna, right here in the center of the map, two players holding them down the bridge. It's gonna have to make them run away for now. Evie and Lily taking another kill in the bottom right. God of Games stepping away, knows that they need to heal. Fried and Rado's Thin starting to come across Exoria. Oh no! And Rado's Thin kills their own teammate. They ran in front of him, and this is why it is going to be extra hard in this hardcore tournament because just like that, you can eliminate your own squad mate. Two Magnum shots is all it took to take the teammate off of the game. Drico hiding over here. Finds Draven to half HP. Rookie trying not to shoot his teammate. Draven nades his teammate, and Rookie is actually going to get taken out of the game because of Draven's grenade. Now, Draven will take Dorko down for the revenge, but no longer will we see Rookie and Draven both alive. And that is an interesting start for the first game here. Shaved in Zai in the very center of the map. Lily looks to be completely alone fighting in the north quadrant. Shave thrown coming across Draven, throwing skunks. They're almost in the same corner. Zai taking a half HP because of the skunk grenades. And we're going to have to see if we see Shave thrown and Zai team killing each other because of the nature of the weapons that they are holding. Vani hanging out in the top right now, sneaking, waiting for an opportunity to potentially clean up a few extra kills. Kiryu, one HP. Vani does clean up an extra kill. Shave Throne takes down Draven in the Skunk Cast. Lily in the center of it all by themselves. Zion Shave, the only duo left. But no, Shave Throne kills himself with his own cat mine. Vani, you, Zai, the only players remaining. What will happen? Zai, one HP. Vani takes another kill. Vani takes another kill. And that is the end of the first game. Headshot. Victory. <laughs> Holy Vani, racking up eight kills in the first Monster game. Kill, 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 eight kill. kills. That might be the most amount of kills we see in an entire day today in the first game by Vani. Absolutely insane. And you have to feel bad for Mega and Cookie, the team that landed with Suhei and Vani, and it got me feeling Naruto sad. Bro, this is totally Mega and Cookie right now. You know they're sitting in their Discord call after dying first like this. Probably like this. But don't worry, rise up. It is winnable. That was just the first game. Get your kills up. And um, we are going to have to ask Vani and Suhei what purple weapon that they would like off the drop and let us head into game number two. And I'm going to be following uh, Suhei and Vani wherever they land so I can drop them their weapons. So hopefully they choose, honestly, to pick a pretty safe location so that I can safely give them their weapons. If they pick a contested spot, their uh, weapons might get stolen. All right, Vani and Suhei both have their purple weapons for winning the last game. But now it's just time to worry about slaying out once again. Emkel already taking a bow kill on Kiro and chat on Boss taken out of the game early. 
Let's come down here to Too Many Bots, who does take out Kanik. Luna's gonna try to make up for that death. Chasing Too Many Bots knows they're low, but no, they're just gonna play their life right now and walk away. Harna and Emkel in the pyramid, kind of creeping up. They hear these players north above them, but let's see if they try to go. No, nothing just yet. Thought about potentially fighting. Harna might be walking into a sticky situation here. Separated the two teammates. Super right laser for Harna. Holds down mouse. What is it going to work? No, the accuracy on that gun is terrible. But yes, the player is going to go down. Now there's only one left and Harna takes them out as well. Great job by Harna for not dying. Tarantino takes down a Rubidoux, god of games, trying to run away from fire as well. And the chase is on and God does get taken out. Multiple kills there for the Spanish team there. Zai and Shavethone kind of cleaning up boxes, grabbing some resources here from the center of the map in Bamboo. Silence Pistol for Zai, BCG for Shavethone. Two great weapons in order to be able to get some kills. We're gonna have to see what they can do with them. Gid and Major Fuego finally making it into the game here on the south side of the Health Juice Factory. Gonna be looking to fight it out here momentarily, hopefully, and not just play idle. Uh, Suhei is currently on the chase of Zai, doesn't land the shots and runs away. Vani playing completely off screen of Suhei. Now they did have the purple weapon advantage, so we're gonna have to see how they wanna use this here. Will they use it and pick up some extra kills? Vani getting solo. Too many bots has the chance to take it out. Does not. But Suhei actually does pick up with the purple jag given to them at the beginning of the game. An extra kill there. Lots of players here in the top left. Let's check it out. Off taking on fire. Lily taking on Tarantino. Eevee trying to take out Tarantino as well. This looks to be a two versus two versus one situation in the top left and players are currently scattering all over the place. Let's head down to the bamboo forest as Ultra Model and AF1 are trying to look for players but currently not getting so lucky and able to find any of them. Harna finally pushing into the heart of the battle here with the bow. Emkel, Harna coming face to face. Emkel gets this player to one HP, tries to snipe them on the way out, does miss. Encrypt going to be stepping away as well. Shave Throne looking mighty low. Going to sit in the storm for a little bit. Try to heal up. Remember, there are no team revives. And team damage is on because this is hardcore duos. So we have to see what sort of uh, tactics these players are taking in order to be able to survive. Not just thrive, but survive as well. Luna taking some nice shots. Nothing landing though. Uh, Emkel getting Rados in very low. Harna trying to heal up in the tent. Tarantino, big nade from off screen. Emkel, quarter HP. Tarantino didn't even realize, but almost took out one, potentially two players there so far. Meru, Trihawks trying to cop a quick heal here in the bottom left. Tarantino does get taken out by Harna. A bit of a revenge for those grenades there. Vani Suhei trying to survive. I haven't seen any team kills just yet, but we'll have to see what happens because there will surely be more in this tournament. Remember, folks, we have 10 games here to play. Game one was an absolute banger. Eight kills from Vani, the cute bunny. And we will have to see what sort of kill leaders we find at the end of this game as Zai and Shay Throne are continuing to just play it safe. Remember, this tournament is all about kills. There is really no reason to worry about placement. You have to be playing aggressive. You have to be slaying out. This is a celebration to all of the people who play Battle Royale is how they're meant to be. And that is W keying down people's throats. Shave Throne taking down White. Rookie takes down two there. One from two different teams as well. Rookie seems to be getting back into normal shape here. Mayhem and Trihawks are face to face. I don't even think they know it yet as Shave Throne and Zai. They need to watch out for team damage. Shave Throne doesn't know he's walking into a grenade. Pulls out the BCG. No kill your death. Mayhem gets one. Zai, Mayhem gets two. And Zai will pick up a kill on Trihawks, but then go down shortly after. Dra oh my god. Lily just absolutely pooped on Draven. Did anyone see that? Holy moly, a triple BCG to instantly kill Draven, somehow surviving as well. Mayhem goes down. Rookie is going to make up for that Draven kill there. Top three situation, 1v1v1. Remember, team damage is on, so these players need to try to separate. If we know Rookie, we know that he is the one to win these type of situations. The situations that feel impossible are the ones that he does the best at. But no, they do take them out. Only two teammates remaining. 
kill your teammate, pick up the extra kill, and AF1 and Toyota Ultra Model will win game number two, which will give them both a free purple weapon on their drop at the beginning of the game. But take a look. AF1 and Ultra Model only had a combined four kills between them. Rookie alone doubled their kills for an absolute monster kill. Tying kill. our record of the tournament so far with Vani and garnering a ton of points. Now, Draven did pick up no kills, but once again, just from Rookie alone, double the score of anyone on the board. Remember, these kills are so important. So, even someone like Harna, who ended up in 21st place, did better than everyone in front of them by getting those kills. And let's get ready, guys, for game number three. And let's pop off our first giveaway of the day. Oh, I have you blocked, so I couldn't see your message. <laughs> it keeps getting funnier and funnier. I just dropped a purple deagle and they didn't see because they were chasing a kill. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm a good event host. Smile, 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 smile. What are you doing? What, no way, no way. Atlas, you were almost so dirty for what you just did. Atlas, you were almost so dirty for what you just did. That was very smart. Okay, let's get back to it. Mkel and Harna kind of ruling over this north area. Kriya might actually run into them by accident. No, they're going to be rotating out immediately. Fried and Radosin hanging out under Beaver Construction, fighting it out. Let's go take a look at the kill leaderboard right now. We have Kanik, Mkel, Radosin, and Eevee all on two right now. Let's go ahead and check out all of the players that have two kills and where they're hanging out at. Kanik is definitely down south near the beach. Radosin about to be in a fight with Eevee here. Radosin looking at one HP as well. What's going to happen? Coming face to face with Bonnie, and Bonnie will take them out. Emko actually just collected a third kill, so we're going to watch them for just a little bit of time here. Let's see what happens. Harna and Mkel kind of just healing up, hanging out together down here at the bottom side. Cuddly Eevee. Currently, it looks like they're alone, or is Lily still alive? No, Lily is still alive. They're just not playing near each other at all. I wonder if they've decided on a divide and conquer sort of strategy here to be able to collect as many kills as possible. I wonder if we will see any other teams try to do a strategy like this where they are going to completely split off and separate from one another to try to get as many little picks and kills as possible. But for now, let's go ahead and head back to the right side here as Koenig and Encrypt are kind of battling it out. Actually, no, I'm pretty sure White is a different person, right? No, White is Encrypt. DD Encrypt is fighting Koenig. Big nade! Barely coming around the tree. Nothing happens. Let's go ahead and watch this mole crate for a second. I want to see what sort of weapons that they will have to slay out today. Tarantino fighting Shave Throne. A battle of the players. Both of these players not approved by Knuckles, by the way. Tarantino, hunting rifle, great shot on the shave throne. You know he is not going to like that result. Someone send me the clip of him raging so I can watch after this game, please. As Ultra Model does not get that kill, but Cookie is going to be taken down by Incrypt, which is their teammate, actually. And AF1 and Toyota are going to be wanting to hit a back-to-back -back win here in the north side. Ruki face-to-face -face taking out Lily. And that is the second time that Lily and Draven slash Draven's teammate have come face-to-face -face and battled it out. Good nade, no damage though. As we can just see a ton of piles of loot down here from all of these slain enemies. Meru running, Draven holding down Mass 1. Does get a kill. Eevee stepping away, starts the campfire, trying to get the heal off. Tarantino dying in the storm up top. AF1 still alive. Rookie still alive. Trihawks trying to survive down in the south side. Losing all of the armor. Eevee is known as one of the best dual pistol players in the game, especially competitively. Eevee, great choice to walk away from that barrel. And we might have a repeat winner here as we see Ultra Model. No, Ultra Model getting ran at. And Rookie is going to take both players down. They take down Eevee as well. Trihawks is healing in the bottom right, but he has nowhere near the amount of time to win a heal off. And Draven and Rookie are finally going to put their first win up on the board here. Draven taking the kill. And Draven and Rookie combined had 11 kills that game. 
They did an absolutely fantastic job. Trihawks with three as well. Eevee with three as well. And Toyota Ultra Model picking up another kill as well with AF1. Mkel has three down the leaderboard. Koenig has three down the leaderboard. Korea has two down the leaderboard. Radostin with a 28th place two kill finish. Doing better than a lot of the players in front of them. Great game. Rookie once again dropping a... Monster kill. As well as a... Victory. And we will have to see what is in store for us for game number four in just one minute. Let's get game number four underway right now. We're going to be following off our winners to start this game, Draven and Rookie. We're going to see where they want to land. And we're going to drop them their Jag and M16. Once again, you would hope that they pick something a little bit safe off the start or their weapons can get stolen. And let's see what sort of location they would like to choose. Ooh, it looks like they are landing with Shave Throne. I don't know if they know that, though. Actually trying to go back, it looks like. Draven picking up both the Jag and the M16. Will be dropping one to their partner. There we go. And now they have their weapons to slay out with. Let's take a look here in the theater. While Harner and Mkel are already fighting two other players in the bottom left, nothing going to happen. Looks like they're just going to be stepping away from each other. Uh oh Vani chasing Shade Throne. Oh, no. If Shade Throne dies here, this is going to be a bigger blow up than Nagasaki and Hiroshima. I guarantee it. Was that too far? All right. Let me change that joke. A bigger explosion than me after Taco Bell at midnight. There we go. Probably more appropriate. Shaved Throne. Actually, no, everyone loved. No, never mind. Let's keep it going. All right, Shaved Throne living. So, no explosion here nor today. But chat on boss about to run into white and fire. Anything happening? No, it kind of looks like they're going to stay just off each other's screens. As we're seeing kills come down across the board, let's take a look at our kill leaders right now. Lily, Mkel, Luna, and Radosin. Lily kind of sitting on a loot pile right now. Nothing happening. Uh oh, Eevee is dead. Oh, wow. So Lily is going to be running solo for the rest of the game. Mkel, Harnack sort of figuring, figuring out their weapons here in the firing range. Ice Light going to be healing up after a close battle, what it seems like. Radosin and Fried Bears running around. The Berenstein Bears. Dude, does anyone remember those books? Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Luna and Koenig. Koenig picking up a silenced pistol, which is absolutely the weapon I would want to be able to slay out face to face with Tarantino and shotgun down. The commentator's curse is real. We'll see you next game as Ollie is currently hiding here on the north side. Mega taking nice shots. Nothing happening though. Atlas Big Nade takes down you in just one grenade toss. Goodbye. We'll see you next time. Fried going for a bit of a sneaky strat sitting in the leaves waiting for a player to pass by as it looks like the closest battle that we'll have on screen right now is kind of from these players re right, focusing on what's happening here kid just seems to forget about their movement buttons all together and does get taken down sorry i was trying to say rotating and we're watching the players rotating down here from the research labs but things are starting to get busy. 28 players still remain. All of them in the central circle here. What it seems like. Harna and Mkel, they're surely glad with that spot that they're in right now. Chad and Boss taking several points of damage. And we also have Naze, who's going to be stuck between two players. No, Naze and Chad and Boss are together. Major Fuego, Chad and Boss coming face to face, trying to get the shotgun kill. Miss four shotgun shots and dies. And that is an absolutely colossal... Dude, this is... This is literally chat on boss right now. He's going to be crying. You cannot miss four shotgun cuts for Major Fuego. It was a monstrous outplay. Well played by Major Fuego. All right, White and Ollie. You can still hear the tears in the background. You have to be able to secure those kills, especially with the shotgun at that range. That could be the difference between a money top three placement and no placement as all. As Rookie is on the chase for Ari. Ari, just look at this cute little bunny. Just try. Do you have a bone set? Bone sword? Never mind. You're not cute at all. You're terrifying. As Ari playing with a jag, but Rookie will take down the kill. Ari not able to pop off a shot in time. Alice, oh my god. Alice holding a minigun here on the left side of the map as well. What is going on? 
Toyota coming face to face with Atlas as well. Both of these players trying to hold off Atlas. Atlas is going to be trying to run all the way around. Good strategy. Might pay off. Might not. We'll have to watch the kill feed and see if she dies to the gas. AF1 takes down Draven after... Actually, was that a team damage? What was the issue there? I'm surprised Draven went down so fast there. Meru and Trihawks, dude, there is two teams on either side of Rookie right now. Rookie taking the competitive play and doing a full rotation all the way on the outside of the map so hard. Mayhem looks to be alone, holding a shotgun, creeping down here at the bottom side, though, as let's take a look at the kill leader. The kill leader is Amcal, who is still up and dancing around the center. So coming face to face, two shots of the Jag, though. Will turn face to face from grave to grave very quickly. M. Kellen Harner holding this bridge. They don't want anyone to be able to rotate from this side. Harno, one of the best BCG players to ever play and has a BCG in their hands, collects one kill, but their teammate does die. Shade thrown behind Harna. Harna having to move forward, does pick up another kill though with the grenade. And Trihawks slipping on the bush. 2007 Toyota actually takes them out with the M16. Shade thrown. It feels like they're safe, but they're facing Harna. And no, Shave Dome does take out Harna, but then Zai and Shave go down shortly after. Tarantino dying to gas, which means no one is going to pick up kill credit for that. And we have a 1v1 situation. Fire versus Toyota, and Fire is going to take the win with the Jag and Deagle, which means Fire and I'm pretty sure Tarantino, right? Fire and Tarantino are going to get their free purple weapons at the start of the next game. Fire with five kills did excellent. Toyota, three kills as well. Now let's go down the line. Harner with three, White with three, Rookie with five, still doing amazing. Mkeld with six, great game from Rookie as well. Two for Mayhem, one for Draven, one for Mega, two for Rado Stin, one for Light, one for God of Games, one Dwerko, and all the way down, Suhei picked up one kill in 43rd place, but that matters. This is why this tournament format is so crazy because Suhei getting one kill in 43rd place was better than the next 30 players in front of them that had zero kills. Great work to everyone. And we are about to head into our second $10 giveaway right now. Head into game number five. And we are going to be following Tarantino and their teammate Fire off the start of the game and hoping that they will land somewhere a little bit safe so we can give them their weapons. Now they did ask for a silence pistol and a jag, two excellent weapon choices to be able to slay out. A lot of the players in our tournament today have been selecting that jag. We have seen what sort of damage that they can put on the board. Now Fire and Tarantino still hanging out in the plane, which I think is a great idea. They're playing it the ultimate safety coming somewhere so far off the map to be able to get their guns with 100% success rate. And right when they land, I am going to be able to drop them their guns. So let's start with gun four, three. There's a silence pistol for you and gun six, three. And there is a jag for their teammate. Hopefully they notice it. They do notice it. Tarantino picks up their teammate's jag. Are they gonna drop it or are they gonna take it? Okay, they do drop it for their teammate and their teammates are getting their purple weapons and we're going to, have to see if they start instantly playing aggressive now that they have their weapons. Let's head up to the left side of the research facility because Mikkel has already taken out Hamter and they're getting hungry for more. Harna is on the chase with a sparrow track up top. Fried and Mkel coming face to face. Harna does see Radosen, gets the track. Now remember, Mkel can't actually see the track because this is solos, and so they cannot see the bow track through the wall. That means only Harna is getting that extra information. Luna and Koenig stuck between two teams right here. Eevee taking two pop shots to the face will not go down for now, and Lily is picking them up, and they will be good to go. Right here above the north side of the crate, looks like Meru and Treyhawks are trading weapons and deciding what guns they want each other to have. God of Games and Dwerk fighting Mayhem, trying not to shoot their teammate. Good idea. Armor swap for Mayhem instantly goes down as well. It looks like God of Games may be getting away for free. Unless Mayhem can land some of these shots, God of Games somehow is still on the run, but Mayhem is hungry with the ninja booties. Running at them with their melee out trying to eliminate them no but it looks like god of games will finally get away not before running it face to face with the draven though draven one two three shots one two three strikes you're out of the game we'll see you next game god 
as Fried and Radosin. Radosin is going to take down Neyas in the top side with a grenade and lend themselves that extra kill early into the game as well. Kriya and Peep trying to uh, sort of stay away from the multiple teams that are fighting in the Beaver construction area. But right now, Rookie and No Enemies, who have seems like this is their fourth or fifth outfit that they have uh, made together. Arubadu face to face with Rookie, trying to take them out. Nothing's going to happen so far. Both of them one HP, and they will be stepping away as now Suhei with their patented bow is on the chase. Vani going to finish them off for them and Sue is going to be just fine banana forker to heal up healing up almost instantly with that campfire and we're going to see what these players want to do as they begin to rotate from the top right into our very southwest circle here harna and mkel kind of walking the line of the top of the circle making sure that no players are rotating in behind them and harna is actually gonna find fried and radosin mkel face to face with the magnum now, Harna is known as a very good BCG player and has their BCG, and Mkel is known as a very good Magnum player and has his Magnum as well. So both of these players on their signature weapons. Ruki has no idea that he was walking into a creeped shotgun, and just like that, Ruki walking by themselves. Sneaky play there from Mayhem and Dwerko as Mayhem shoots their teammate in the face with an egg, bringing them down to a critical amount of HP. Bonnie removing the bananas that were hidden in the tall grass. Draven taking an egg and they're going to walk away as well. Major Fuego currently sitting as a solo trying to survive right now on the top right. Zai is a solo as well as I saw Shave Throne go down early into the game. Suhei and Vani are completely fine with bottom control, which I feel like is interesting because I think they're both tops. Anyways, uh, Dwarko and Mayhem face to face with them. They need to be careful with those eggs. They are careful with the eggs. They do not hit each other. And because of that, they are able to take out Vani. But Suhei is going to walk away and potentially pick up some extra kills down the road for them. Zai might be walking into a situation that she does not want to be in. But no, takes one egg immediately and starts stepping away. Draven sneaking around here at the bottom side with grenades as well as the Deagle. They're going to be able to take out... Uh, <clears throat> oh geez players extremely fast Ooh, draven did just pick up a sniper as well which is going to be great for taking long range fights and grabbing some extra kills draven harna amkel a whole friend group coming to face each other major franco actually taking out zai in the top left encrypt and nixoria dude encrypt is doing so much team damage to nixoria this game that is not what you want to see in a sort of hardcore format like this but we see our final players here. Top seven remain in this final circle. We're gonna be able to watch the whole fight here as Mayhem shoots a Jag at a sniper's range. Dexoria running into Turco and getting taken out. Encrypt not looking at Turco. Mkel runs south and picks up an extra kill. Mkel runs south and takes two. Harna takes out Draven and they're gonna collect four kills in the last 30 seconds of the game. Absolutely fantastic showing from them, Mkel with four kills, Harna with three, four, a combined seven together. Encrypt with five kills in third place, a great showing by them. Draven, two kills, did make it to that top five, but no win, which means there's nothing really valuable for them being there. Dwerko, six kills, and let's go down the list here. Next with two, Fuego with two, Atlas with one, Luna with one, Fiffer with two, Eevee with two, Lily with two, Default Otter with two and Shave Throne, even though they lost in 38th place, picking up this one kill makes them better than half the players in front of them. Great work by them. And we just had another new winner, correct? That was the first game that Mkel and Harna have won. Great showing by them. Seven kills is going to be fantastic for keeping them in that top half of the bracket. And we are going to head into game number six in just two minutes because we did our break last game. Friends, family, it is time for game number six. Let's get into it. Have a good game and see what happens. Right now, game number six. All right, we start here with Ollie, but we're going to quickly switch over to Mkel and Harma because they are going to get purple guns, whatever purple guns they want. M16 BCG, just fine by me. 
See how I made that run? Alright, let's see. Gun. Ten, three. Gun. Where is BCG? Oh, it's the last gun. Gun, 19, three. All right, both of those gamers have the purple weapons of their choosing. And let's go see where the hot drop fighting areas were. Tarantino is actually going to pick up the first kill of the game, and it was here in the left side beaver construction area. Now, we will have to see what sort of um, uh, strategies people are adapting to now that we are more than halfway through the tournament. Surely people are figuring out the best areas to land, the best areas to fight. And honestly, when it is not a good idea to fight as well, you have to balance all of those things. You have to balance the best locations because of team damage as well. Dean and Suhei coming face to face and Fried is going to fry Suhei. All it took was two shotgun shots and Suhei is out of the game. Now, Vani, I think is going to let these two players go, but I don't think he realized how low they really were. Both of those players were sitting on one HP and they definitely could have ran in and taken them out, but it's just a little bit of a knowledge diff there. Dwarko and Mayhem coming face to face with Eevee. Eevee taking down to half HP as Dwork is holding out the BCG and they're going to step away from now. Hiding in the special room there at the north side of the farm. Mkel and Harna both have their purple weapons and you know that they're going to want to be taking as many kills as possible. AF when and Toyota, who were the winners of a game down here at the very south side on the mole crate, trying to pick up the best weapons that they can play to fight it out. Ollie and White here on the right side as well, as we have 32 players left for these locations. And we're going to have to see. Everyone is so evenly spread out right now. There is no really early battles like we've seen in any of the other games. So maybe that's one of the bigger changes that people have made maybe if everyone realizes that everyone is spreading out then maybe everyone will still have the same amount of opportunity to get kills in the late game it seems like people are less and less willing to hot drop and try to pick up as many kills as possible as atlas does go down to rookie with the dual pistols there rookie picking up another kill we've seen them have several high kill games now and if we look here at the um if we look here at the kill board, Rookie has three kills in the lead with the Sushi Orange Fox. Pfeffer actually sitting in second place right now with two kills. And then Fried and Dwerko both having one kill apiece. You would hope that their teammates start picking up the pace a little bit because they are going to need their teammates to perform equally as well. Remember, every kill matters in a tournament like this. This can be the difference between 10th place or 3rd place, which is in the money for this tournament. Remember, guys, not only do we have medals for this tournament, but $150 of a cash prize as well, and $50 for Twitch chat giveaways. Mkel, Harna, Healing, staying separate from each other. Mkel doesn't want to be anywhere near this BCG. They don't want to take any team damage as Harna, two nicely placed eggs, will take down Fire Cell and end the game. Now things are going to get busy as several players are here on the left side of the Beaver construction. And this is where things are going to get spicy. Multiple shots going down. Rookie takes down Zai. Fried is now looking at Rookie. Takes a shotgun snipe, shot from a sniper's distance. Will not kill. Stepping away from now. Mkel, Harna in the bottom left. Remember, these two players won the last game, so they have their favorite weapons. Harna, one of the best BCG players in the world, taking shots from afar. Kriya coming with one HP. Mkel seeing them. Takes the kill. Shade Throne taking down fit for Rookie. Taking down AF1. Rookie, one HP on the left side. Draven still alive. Draven gets found by Harna and almost completely taken out of the game. Draven is now at true one HP. Comes across Harna. Rookie sitting at half HP as well. Body gets banana slipped and taken out by Dorko. Great place, Banana by them, but Harna doing so much damage. If this was a damage contest, we know that they would be winning this entire tournament right now. Harna, Mkel, fighting it out in the south side. Harna with the silence pistol, taking out Triox. No enemies, takes out Dwarko. Eevee takes out Encrypt, and we are down to a top 10 situation in the final circle. White also holding out a BCG, looking at Eevee. Putting down some eggs, down range, nothing landing. Raiderston will take a deagle shot on the white. Lily taken out by Harna's BCG. Harna is having an absolutely pop-off game with the BCG. 
No, Arna will finally get that taken down by Draven, their friend and lover. Draven, one shot, two shots, take down the kill, their other lover. And just lover taking out lover here in the final circle. Rookie versus Fried and Raiderson, a two versus one situation. Rookie gets one. Oh my god, if Rookie wins this. Rookie with one HP somehow taking down one player in the duo. Rookie spacing perfectly behind these walls. Needs to live from the gas as well. Oh my god, Rookie almost pulling off the clutch of a lifetime. But Radostin is able to finish it off in the two versus one situation, but it does not matter. Remember, Rookie and Draven combining for 11 kills together. That is a absolutely fantastic placing. Rookie with an absolute monster kill. kill, kill but remember, Radostin and Fried winning the game with five combined, and they will get to choose their purple weapons off the drop of next game. Congrats to Raiders for the victory. <laughs> Great work, you two. And um, let's go down the list here a little further. Mkel with five, Evie with three, and lots of other kills on that top section. Now, I did see some kills trickling twos and ones halfway and further past the leaderboard, which means... There are still some players that are putting their team on their back even when they're dying early. We are going to pop off our third giveaway of the stream. Now that game number six is over, we are heading towards game number seven. I love and appreciate every single one of you in the Twitch chat as always. Let's get to game number seven lobby. Let's get to our third chat giveaway in just one second. All right, gamers, game number seven coming right. Wait, who won the giveaway by the way? I didn't even see. Yikes. I see that pencil. Who won the giveaway? I didn't even see. And who won the game last game? M16 and Tommy for Radostin. I got you, Radostin. Hope you guys landed somewhere safe. Radostin. M16, please don't die. Please don't die to this guy. That would be so embarrassing on my part, to be honest. Gun. Gun 10 3. Here you go, Fried. Fried, Fried, don't run past your gun. And what was the other one? M16 and Thomas Gun. We've never done Thomas Gun. Gun 8 3. Pick up your gun for your teammate. Or show them where it is. All right, guys, welcome to game number seven. Sorry for getting distracted and sorry for getting passionate. I know that everyone hates me and loves me for my passion. But when I really care about something, I want it to succeed. I want it to be important to other people. I want to feel like other people care about it as well. And something that I feel like is getting overlooked is how valuable customs and events are for the life and blood of a community. For the laughter, for the friendship, for the giggles, for the getting to know new people, for being able to collaborate with other people, to be able to open your community to new ideas and new people. So I hope that you will uh, allow me to farm Twitter clout. Twitter clout for Super Animal Royale. Super Animal Royale is hilarious, by the way. Raiderson does get taken out early here. Suhei on the chase. Suhei and Vani have been so bloodthirsty today, and I absolutely love to see it. This is exactly what you would want. Oh my god. Dude, Fried somehow taking out uh, Suhei, and you have to wonder where Vani was. I think Vani was too busy picking up the purple Thomas gun and collecting the loot that they weren't there to save their teammate, and they're potentially going to get punished for this for the rest of the game lots of players here south of the bamboo forest no enemies and rookie running together now a player with a bc jew who is it encrypt and shape are currently running through um eggs on one side and the best players in the tournament on the right side shave throne and zai trying to heal up on the far left side vani who is now alone nexoria in encrypt hanging out together you and Trihawks taking shots. Trihawks getting down you to one HP. No kills just yet. Ari completely alone at the north side with Harna and Mkel on their tail. Nothing happening just yet. Dwerko 
Looks to also be alone, unless is Lunar on the team? No, so many solos left. It seems like a lot of people's partners were kind of splitting up and getting picked early. That is not what you want to see here in a tournament like this. You want to be able to stay on top of each other and to focus down players to get as many kills as possible. Remember guys, we have $150 possible for the top three placing duos. So, there is a good amount of money on the board. That can get you something nice. And we will have to see. Oh, no enemies. And Rookie being sneaky, waiting for the rotating players. Rookie hitting one shot on white, and then they die to the storm. Draven coming up on Zai. So it doesn't matter that Zai has the minigun. They're going to be going down so fast. Big grenade. No damage to Nexoria, even though it looked extremely close. Good grenade from Draven taking down Nexoria. And. We have a top 14 situation here in a pretty small little area here. Parna and Emkel on the chase for Luna. Luna trying to run away like the little koi fish they are. Trying to stay alive, trying to grab some extra kills here on the tail end. Trihawks has no clue that fire is just below them. They may have caught them on the screen. Let's zoom in, zoom in and look at exactly what Trihawks' POV is here. Rookie and Draven. Okay, so Trihawks is going to have to be extra careful because they have players on multiple sides of them. Lily and is also still alive with Eevee, so they need to kind of play kind of close, but not close enough. Lily coming down to 1 HP. Shade thrown stuck between multiple teams does go down. Lily and Eevee both with dual pistols, both taking shots. Rookie does take down one. Eevee trying to get the kill back. Does not take it just yet, but look, the entire friend group is against each other right now. Eevee, Rookie. Mkel, Draven, Harna all looking at each other, all trying to take each other out of the game. Incrypt playing a very sneaky spot in the tree, does get fire cell very low. Incrypt still holding Malice 1 with that SMG. Isn't able to take a kill just yet, but fire cell is looking very low. Egg spam does take down Rookie and Inc Encrypt, one of the better players from the NA Young generation, does take down one of the uh, founding fathers of the competitive community, Rookie. And Amkel Kriya hanging out here on the right side. Harna playing with the egg, and this is going to be such an amazing spot for Ar Harna. Holding down this BCG face to face with Mkel. Mkel takes two. Kriya versus Mkel. Kriya actually takes down Mkel. We are in a one versus one situation. No HP, no health versus Harna. Takes a snipe, walks into the storm. Harna gets kill credit, and that will be it. And it is a victory. <laughs> Not only was it a victory for Harna and, M and Mkel, but for Harna, it was an absolute monster kill. Kill, kill, kill. Able to take four, which was the highest amount that we saw in this game, combining for five win with Mkel. And they're going to be able to pick their weapons going into number eight. So we're going to have to watch them very closely and see how many kills they can pick up next game, getting the weapons that they want off the drop. Eevee had four as well. Fire Cell with one, Encrypt with one, Rookie with three, Jerko with three, Lily with four, Nexoria with three. So those players are going to be happy with their performances as well because they were able to rack up a ton of those kills. Game number eight. Remember, we will have a giveaway in the chat after this game. Let's go ahead and take a look at Harna and Mkel. If I can ever freaking find him on the... What the... Oh, there we are. All right. Um, let's see. Gun. 19-3. Um, wait, I don't even remember. All right, these gamers have their purple weapons for their win last game, and let's see what they can do with it for now. Let's go ahead and check out. Whoa, four kills on the board already. Two of the players are hiding in the bamboo stage, picking up their two kills next. Soria looks like they fought someone outside of the super animal super stage, and I just saw Shame Throne was also able to pop off a kill on the bridge as well. So we're going to have to see what sort of um, rotations Shave wants to take here. Because take a look. 
They're already on the edge of the circle, so do they want to move up north and south and try to find players rotating into the circle? We're going to find out very shortly as no enemies is able to take down a Harna somewhere on the map, but Nexoria is going to be able to take down... Oh wait, this is Mkel and Draven right here, and Mkel and Harna are going to be able to take out... Is Rookie dead too? Wow, Rookie and Draven are already out of this game. This is going to be a big game to potentially get back into this tournament for every other player. Encrypt down here fighting Major Fuego. Encrypt and Nexoria able to take them out pretty quick like. What the? Meru and Trihawks. I don't condone that behavior, by the way. Uh, Meru and Trihawks fighting down here at the south side. Fried and Radostin. Shavethrone and Zai living here at the Northwest Quadrant. About to come face to face. Four players here on the top left. Do they decide to fight? No, they're still deciding to play safe. You would have to feel that if players think that they're at the middle of the pack right now, it is time to turn on the Jets. We are heading, this is game number eight right now. They need to be hunting for those kills. They need to be finding their ins, collecting all of the kills that they can because they need to be getting kills. Are we supposed to be able to see the game? Hello? You can't see the game? What do you mean you can't see the game? What? Hello? Hello? What? No, it is not the time! Yo, Elgato 4KX, this is, ah, oh, what's happening to my screen? Yo, Elgato 4KX, this is not the time, bro. Move, 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 move. Please move, please? I'm saying please. Pretty please? Pretty please? Please? No way this is happening. No way this is happening. Not in game eight of the tournament. Everything just came back to life. Come on, show the game. Activate. Yes! One v one situation. Toyota Moto versus Luna. One shot lands, two shot lands. They order with the game. Woo! Wait, my camera's frozen. <laughs> Yo, yo, how did one, one thing broke and then the other thing broke and then the other thing broke? That's crazy. In order. Uh, hello? Dude, can I show you exactly how I feel right now? Am I back? Oh, I'm yellow. Yo, we're so back. Should we? Uh, nah, I've never been the one to replay games. It didn't affect the game at all, just the stream. Bummer. We did get to see the very beginning and the very end. Let's check out the score. Next, Oreo dropped seven. Next Oreo with the, and congrats to Toyota for the, and you have to feel for Draven and for Rookie who were taken out literally immediately with no kills. Wait, you can't hear that? Now I'm just sitting here like an idiot. This is the worst day of my life. And we will look at the winner of that giveaway. So the winners of the last game decided not to ask for a purple weapon. Neither one of them want to use a purple weapon. They do not want a purple weapon, which is definitely something very different from what we've seen so far. Let's head into game number nine, though. And we're going to actually follow the hot choppers here. Nexoria and Encrypt immediately fighting IA Gene here. And they're going to take one of them out. Is the teammate going to decide to full leave? Or are they going to try to avenge their partner? Let's see. Here's the footsteps running up north. Finds Encrypt. One shot, gun shot, two shot, gun shot. Good nade by Encrypt. And they're going to take two free kills off the beginning of the game. We see lots of players coming down here into the security center. At least two different squads. Three different squads here are going to be trying to loot up. Gid running face-to-face -face with Toyota Ultramana. It looks like they're going to... Okay, I, I didn't watch that. I'm gonna act like I didn't watch that. Mayhem is good. Wait, didn't Mayhem already win a giveaway? 
Oh, because I accidentally left on allow pass winners. Cancel, turn off allow pass winners. One minute, start. Do exclamation mark scuffed again. Exclamation mark scuffed again. We're gonna spread the love. No $20 for Mayhem. No $20 for Mayhem. Draven and Rookie take a shot. Comes up and cleans up a kill on Kuryu. Shaved running away in the north quadrant. Encrypt trying to chase. And I don't know if he's going to be able to get him. It looks like Shave got a pretty big head start. No, he chased all the way. Finds an armor swap. Now, he might be able to turn on Encrypt. Encrypt has no armor right now. Team damage. No, it does take down Shave. Getting chased. I would love to see a clip on that. There's probably going to be a little bit of sour feelings about getting chased for that long. Once again, guys, type in exclamation mark scuff in either the Twitch chat or the YouTube chat for a $10 Steam giveaway. Do not be prideful, gamers. Even if you don't like me and you're lurking, Go ahead and drop a, I would love to give you some, some moolah so you can get a on sale Steam game or something. Go ahead and drop an exclamation mark scuff. You only have five seconds though, sorry. I didn't tell you how much time you have. Five seconds. Exclamation mark scuff in the YouTube or Twitch chat. Good luck, three, two, one. Dragonfly, make sure you do exclamation mark claim in chat. And if you do that, wait, Dragon, Dragon mark, Dragonfly didn't already win one, did they? I don't think so. Rookie and enemies running into Encrypt and was able to instantly take them out because of their valuable weapons. Exoria is going to be running for their lives now. Look at all of the players here at the southeast quadrant. We're all trying to sprint away from the zone. Remember, the zone is just a little bit faster. Dragonfly, make sure you DM me um, and don't expect to hear back from me until after the tournament. Thank you, sir. And we will have one more giveaway after the 10th game. All right, fighting here down at the southeast quadrant. Fire Cell is going to take a kind of game. Sarantino takes out Ari. Fire Cell is going to actually get traded out for White. May we're getting taken down by Cuddly Eevee as well. Mkel and Harna healing up together. Um, Dwerko and White fighting Skunkass. Oh no, they're about to be pinched between another player here as well. Somehow surviving. Mkel not smelling blood like they normally would and try to take the player out. Kriya over here on the left side. Kriya and Vivi staying close together. Kriya trying to fight. Guys, the reason... What happened? You didn't claim? Wait, you did claim. Wait, you goofball. You won on a different Twitch account that you had... The, and then you claimed it on the wrong account, so it re-rolled it. You guys are making everything more difficult for me by not... <laughs> by not just doing things as they are. Mayhem taking shots out, somehow not taking down Kriya. Kriya living by the skin of their teeth. Let's watch here for a second and see if Kriya can truly escape or if Mayhem is going to continue the chase. No way, Kriya actually. Oh, so Kriya won on YouTube and then didn't claim on YouTube, claimed on a different account on Twitch and didn't actually claim. You guys are so funny. Nexoria face to face with Luna. Nexoria, honestly, I don't know if this is the most valuable loadout here. Tier 3 armor. Honestly, Traffic, I'm going to leave it up to you. Do you want to take the 10 because it rerolled because they didn't follow the instructions? Or do you want to give it to them? I'm going to leave that in your arms. I'm not deciding. Because I'm, uh, I'm down to punish the people that don't follow the simple instructions. But also always love a big, a big heart story as well. Um, Evie and Lily sticking together. I'm not a rat. Surely you're not a rat, but it looks like you are a rat from my perspective. Face to face, Exoria taking an egg, but does take the player down. Fried actually picks up the kill. Mayhem tried to steal it, didn't get it. Zai running into Mayhem on the top right side. Mayhem half HP, Mayhem one shot. Mayhem does get taken down by Zai. Zai hits an armor swaps and starts the heal in the top right. Top eight situations. Player from all sorts of different lobbies here. Is there anyone in the pyramid? No teams in the pyramid. They are flying here in the north side. Harna and Mikkel hanging down. Oh, wow. Okay, we have a lot of really big, big, respectable teams up here. And we have a few solos as well. We're going to see Lily and Evie deciding to divide and conquer. Lily taking out Draven for what feels like a third or fourth time so far this tournament. Evie getting um, fired to one HP. Does that it? Evie taking the, down their teammate to one HP. Will they get punished for that? Rookie one HP. Rookie in the zone. Both players one HP, but no. Evie almost putting their team in a dangerous situation, but Evie Getting the last few kills there. Absolutely fantastic performance with them. Evie with this game's 
Monster Kill. With five as well as the Victory. Going into game number 10, Evie and Lily being able to choose their purple weapons are going to be extremely valuable for them and for this last game's worth of kills. Fry, Dick, pick up four kills there. Draven with three. Rookie with two for a combined five. Great scoring for them still. Nexoria with three. Tarantino with two. White with two. Suhei with two. And all the way down, Ultra with two as well. They're going to enjoy having those kills. Remember, kills are more valuable than anything. Look, you guys are doing so good. Come on, lock in. Zai, go closer to shave. Make it more of a point. Wait, hold on. Hold on. You guys are actually locking in right now. This is looking good. What are these people doing? What is like Peep Peep doing? Does Peep Peep know what's going on? so good come on the final push let's go you guys got this here, here. make it like this then make it like this then hold on i'll be locked in I hope you guys have had a fun time watching. This was my 20th Super and the Royal event, all sponsored by me, all out of my pocket every single time. So I appreciate everyone in the chat who shows love by subscribing to the channel, by becoming a member on YouTube, by donating, or even just by watching the YouTube videos, giving me the ad money as a YouTube partner by watching the Twitch streams and bringing it to other people. I appreciate you guys as always. And let's get into game number 10. Vami starting off with a melee kill right off the bat in our 10th and final game, pushing next story as well. Nick, Vani is going all out. They understand the stakes of this final game. This game can be the difference between no money and all of the money. And Rookie, I feel like, understands that same situation, coming face to face with Ari and taking them out. Atlas running away, leaving Ari behind, no enemies, and Rookie chasing them down already. Tarantino by themselves, south of the pyramid as well. And it looks like teams are spreading out currently, waiting to get their loadouts, and they will be pushing each other shortly to grab their final kills in this last game. Priya coming face to face with Hamter, and we're gonna see if they can do anything. DP taking some shots, half HP. Hamter stepping away, not going on the chase, guys. I will be chasing every single kill in this game. Shave Throne and Zai not willing to fight either. They're trying to survive until later in the game. Now, where is Suhei? Because we see Vani already running around. Are Suhei and Vani running on opposite sides of the map, playing it out? They are. They are completely away from each other, going absolutely crazy. What an intelligent play for this final game. Divide and conquer, making sure that they can find players, taking out one and running away. What an awesome strategy from those two. Harna, Mkel, finding Fisher, looking to take shots. Dual pistols will take them out. Evie, healing at the campfire. They don't understand that they could be ran on here in any second now. Nexoria Encrypt, linking up together in the right side of the Beaver Construction. White, South, playing by themselves in the Crocodile. It doesn't matter for placement. They need to get in there and get some kills. Rookie grabbing another kill as well. All of the players that we expected to have a high kill game are already starting off strong. Encrypt, Harna, Rookie, Vani, all with great starts so far. Let's take a look at Harna. Harna kind of lurking here. MKL staying close by. Rookie close to them as well. These players definitely need to take each other out because they're in contention for the money in the top three of the chat. Evie, Lily have put zero kills on the board so far, but they did have the purple weapons this game. They need to be able to play together and grab these weapons. Encrypt and Nexoria are finally on the hunt. Let's see if they can find White hiding in the tree. No, they're gonna run by for now as we have a very weird little final circle here at the very southmost point of the Super Animal Royale map. Major Fuego taking shots. Tier three armor not landing just yet. One shot lands. Two shots might land. Suhei taking shots. 
half HP, coming face to face, dual pistol and does take them out. I'm actually so proud of Vani and Suhei's strategy. Vani does get taken out of the game with one kill here, but they need Suhei to have the performance of their life here. Suhei already dropping three kills as well. Incrypt taking some shots. Luna taking some shots as well. What tier one armor coming through. Next Aurea popping some shots off Atlas. What the? Atlas? This is Atlas right now. Reminiscing on all of the good memories that they had with Ari. Let's head back to Shaven Size. They're on the hunt for kills. Let's go ahead and check in with Suhei because they are currently in the middle of a monster kill. Four kills thus far with the bow. Meru lurking by with the shotgun. They hear this player creeping, rolling, ninja booty. No sound. Shotgun out. Suhei barely escaping for now. Trying to get the Sparrow Track for information. Does lay the Sparrow Shot. Shotgun one, shotgun twice. Five kills for Sue. Sue is going absolutely crazy. Bottom right side of the map. Shave Throne is currently getting chased and taken out by Eevee. It needs to be a Zai big clutch here on behalf of both of them. Rookie and Draven, Nexoria and Encrypt, Eevee and Lily. All of our normal characters still alive here at the end of the game. Everyone else has just been ripe for the picking as Suhei is going to use the shotgun and take down Zai as well. Going crazy with it. Six kills in the last game. Playing absolutely out of their minds. Coming across Suhei with kill number seven. Hit the headshot. headshot on White with the shotgun. Top six situation, final circle of the final game. Arna, Encrypt facing each other with the shots here in the bottom right. Everyone trying to heal for the fight. For the last final fight, Arna, Arna one HP dying around the bush from Encrypt's Eagle. Two versus two situation, one shot with the Jack, two shots with the Jack, nothing landing. Nexoria, half HP, Nexoria getting swallowed up. Encrypt getting swallowed up and it is Suhei in a one versus two situation with the bow. What sort of plays can they make? They're versus two Deagles. It's not gonna be a winnable situation at all. And Ruki and Suhei are going to clean up the final game. Suhei with seven kills. Ruki tying them with seven. Draven with two for a total of nine kills between those two players. Inkrit and Nixora with a respectable eight between them two as well. Coming down the leaderboard, Harna with two. Mkel with two. Luna with one, Tarantino with one, Vani with one, Trihawks with one, Light with one, Kriya with one, and all the way in 36th place, Dwerko with one. Get a GG in the chat immediately, please, for me. GG's in the chat. And also, please put a Broads one gritty in the chat as well. Good tournament, everyone. Broads one gritty in the chat. All right. The final score is here, but I'm actually gonna use Lily's sheet that I've been watching because I think it will uh, give us a better representation here. All right, guys, once again, thank you for participating, watching, donating, following, everything in between. We're gonna go ahead and get these results over and done with now. Here we go in last place, came out, tried their hardest. We had Team Focus. Is there a way I can? Um, next, with one point, we had the Honey Trap tied for 21st. Tied for 18th, we had the Mapes Travesos and Fuego Bagels and the Cyclone. We had the Frozen Cats, the Korean Nerd, the Duos Day, the House, the Battle Together, the Bullies, the Justice League, the Fluffy Cats in 10th place. The Pretentious with 16 points, Los Transformers with 18 points, V Moloke with 27, The Losers with 28, and here are our top five. Remember, the top three are in the money. In fifth place, we have the Fluffy Duo with 32 points. Next, we have the, I don't know if it's Chinese or Japanese, Chinese name I cannot pronounce with 36 points. And in the money, in third place, 
We have Clear Caterwall with 40 points in third place, beating out fourth and fifth by only eight points. Look at these eight points difference between third place, between in the money and out of the money. Next, we have Valerie Pocrese Sale Puti with 48 points, Clear almost catching them with eight points difference. And in first place, we have Draven and Rookie who were 17 points ahead of second place, 25 points ahead from third. Absolutely crushed it with the kills this tournament. There is our top five, but more specifically, our top three getting the bronze, silver, and gold medals, as well as our money placements. First, we're going to start with a... Um, interview with lily and evie who got third place with 40 points i hate myself man hold on no i forgot to turn on freaking discord audio because i have a dual pc setup and it makes my it makes my life so much better but also makes my life so much worse speak again uh hello no. all right so here's what they said the ping was pinging evie has a very very high ping let's get back to it so third place did we think that was right about where we wanted to land was that lower was that higher what do we think about expected for me i think, it's, I think would happen with those teams I think it's a pride. yeah pretty well we could have done better is the thing yeah, so our better, problem but... was that we were rotating into the circle way too late and i only really fixed that issue round six and seven so we kind of threw the first half of the game because we weren't rotating fast enough. Gotcha. I didn't so think it true. Any highlight moments that stick out to you from today's games? Anything that you'll remember, even if you play 10 more tournaments after this? Um, <laughs> no, uh, the answer can be no. Getting, the, uh, he's getting the, the break one game early mixed. Really? That's what you're going to remember? <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately so. That's crazy. You don't feel like you had any big clutches, any like crazy like off-screen kills, any group where you definitely uh, should not have beat them, but you tore them up? Nothing? Not really. We kind of just did in line with how we should be doing and didn't do anything too mm -hmm. bad or too good. All right. Not that that's bad. It's just an average game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Thanks for scoring it, Lily. Thanks for helping me run it. As always, appreciate you guys. I'm going to head to the second place teams. I'll have your, your monies and your medals very soon. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. I'm now going to be calling our second place team. This one's going to be unhinged. I already know, dude. Freaking Harna and Emkel in the same chat together. God, this is going to be. This is about to not be okay. Let's find out what happens here. Hey. Uh, first things first. <laughs> explain the name because I've said it out loud several times. Am I going to get canceled? <laughs> okay. Okay. No. 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 It's just the Poo and Valerie Poo Cress, you know. Uh, like you, you, you can show the fucking picture in picture like, in, in in your chat. It's fine. Like, like Valerie Poo Cress is uh, president of uh, of uh, Paris, Paris. Uh, region. That's why. Yeah. Okay. And then. And basically, she, she owns whore like is uh, the second word. Board. So it's president of Paris, dirty. Yeah, whore. but yeah, but yeah, but uh, yeah, but like it's it's mixed with the poo, you know. You you don't know the poo. <laughs> the I don't know. Whatever. The poo. All right, let's get back to the games though. Second place, forty-eight points, was the only people that potentially could catch the Draven and Rookie. How do you feel like you play? So you feel like you could have done better? Feel like you should have done worse? Or you feel like you're pretty solid with the second place? Um. The, you can the, go first and get <laughs> because we don't have the same uh, the speech. First, the, the first three games, like we totally threw it because we were always late. Uh, we we were, were not in uh, in the in the cycle, uh, and not the not a lot of stuff like tapes and uh, elf was missing. So I think the three first game were pretty trash and after rune four starting rune four we're going to start like having between uh five and nine cares which is good but basically uh yeah we could probably do better especially it's the one where we killed uh draven and rookie uh yeah, in pyramid. That was a big one yeah it's a big one but i <laughs> hana got killed at, at the same time so it was pretty over for me because no, i'm alone and i bad. can't uh, uh I, I can't do uh like uh Du right. Double kiss every time on yours. What do you think, Arna? Uh, I 
personally I think I did shit this tournament, but I mean I'm not surprised to be honest. Dude. Like I didn't play for for a long time. Like I, I just trained like three, three or four days before the tournament, mm. and I didn't play for five months. So I guess it's fine. Now you did but, have that yeah. moment where you clutched up that game, and what felt like every single Harna egg was landing, and that was that was big. Wait, which one? You know, the one where you won in the very end, but like you had BCG and every single oh, egg yeah, yeah. won or landed. Yeah, so it was crazy. I mean, I mean BCG, you know, yeah, that like was it's, good. it's my thing. All right, so any memorable moments from the tournament? Anything that you'll remember down the line? Um. At uh, the time we killed uh, Draven and we killed Pyramid and Hana screamed at me because he, he's like, <laughs> Hana was like, Bro, he shot me with the shotgun! Help <laughs> me! <laughs> <Help me. laughs> and I was, so I almost killed uh, Hana twice. <laughs> yeah, I know. We I did mind. see a lot of team kills. One last question then. How did you like the format? Uh, it was good. Like, no, like the format was good. Uh, I mean, the. Uh, the scoring system, like only kills, it's pretty different because you can't like just play like uh, like passive and uh, waiting for the top one. You you need to you need to find people to kill people, and uh, otherwise you don't care about top one or not because it's only purple gun. And honestly, purple gun will not help you. Yeah. Mm, well, yeah, but I, I felt so... like it helped you guys having a purple BCG right off the bat of the game. I felt yeah, like it's pretty solid. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, Hana found a lot of BCG. Not gonna lie. like on yep. ten games, he Hana? probably found like six or seven BCG. That's disgusting. Hana always finds the BCGs. All yeah, right, um, like it was cool. Thank you for interviewing. I will have your silver medals and your money to you in the next twenty-four hours. And uh, peace out. Peace. See you next time. All right, and the last one, dude. If that call was unhinged, this one's gonna be worse. All right, we're gonna be calling Rookie and Draven our first place winners. Grand prize winners, gold medals. They're used to them, though. Hello. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> Welcome. Um, so, how are we feeling about first place? Was it expected? Yes. Yes. Now, did you, <laughs> <laughs> did you expect you to win in such a big margin, though? 17 yes. points. <laughs> but we respect everyone else. 17 points against uh, above the next person. Solid first place. Now, Rookie, Draven, how many medal gold medals do you think you've received at this point? Yes. Yes. Wait, you guys plan oh. to just say yes to all my questions? No, I don't know. I lost count. Oh. Oh, you yeah, lost count? Time. Lost count is crazy for first place comp finishes. All right. Uh, and what do you think about the format? I mean, it wasn't bad, but... I That's think it's right. not bad, but it's more like, not like casualist, but I think it's less rewarding the good teams, because placements is also a hard thing to get. I mean, it's not about the placement, it's just, I throw a nade, right? And because of the ping, it hits him for like 50. Yeah. And he's not even close to it, like... Well, speaking of uh, ping, how do you feel that the, fir the top five teams, there are zero NA players among them? Is top five are it, all it, it, EU it, players. It, it, uh, fourth team is uh, encrypting. Oh, wait, variety. you're right. There was one NA team in the top five. How do you feel about that? Not surprised. Yes. All right, and last question. Anything on the horizon for any of you, either one of you guys? Big projects, announcements? League of Legends. <laughs> yeah, I, w I wanted to try the game in summer, but I have so much exams coming. Uh, and yeah, I mean, like everyone knows, the ranked mode project on SAR. Ranked because mode it's... project. What the? Ranked <laughs> mode. Pro Bot just spawned in my game. Ranked <laughs> mode project coming soon. Get excited for that. All right. Thank you guys for the interview. I will have your money and your gold medals to you in the next 24 hours. Yes. Okay. Thank you. All Bye. right. Love you guys. Good. Goodbye. Love you. They're so lame. They'll, t they'll say love you and they will say, no, nah, I'm not going to explain. No, nah, they love me. They love me, by the way. Don't let them act like they don't love me. They acted cold there. Anyways, everyone, I am going to end stream. Almost a perfect three-hour stream here. As always, thank you for participating in any way in the event. And uh, I will see you, honestly, hopefully, very soon for a community day, a non-try-hard event for money. Thank you.
and see you next time. Bros one gritties in the chat if you're a sub. If not, hearts in the chat, and we are going to raid. So stick close for just one second.